Mayoral candidate Norm Coleman says the key to preserving West 7th and other St. Paul neighborhoods is keeping middle-class families in them. For that, he says, the city needs economically vibrant neighborhoods with healthy local businesses. If you talk to business people on, on commercial strips, most often what they'd want is for the city to get out of the way. That, that the business association, we know what we need for economic growth in our neighborhood, and can you just step back a little bit, a little bit less regulation, a little bit less bureaucracy, a little bit less red tape. Coleman says the key to solving problems is not putting money into housing. It's making sure people have jobs. In any case, he says, the days of aggressive government housing programs are gone. In the past, government perhaps played a role. The dollars were there. Today, the dollars aren't there. And, and, and the taxpayers are not going to put the dollars there. We're dealing with a different reality today. What Coleman thinks the city should spend money on is public safety. One of his main campaign promises is to hire 30 new police officers. The quiet, sunny streets on either side of West 7th seem safe and peaceful, but they're not, says longtime resident Lenore Zellman. I've always felt safe in the neighborhood, having lived here for 20 years, but it's the recent things, you know, like the drug dealing that I think uh, has gone on in that house. You see more police as a solution or other solutions that you see? Well, that we, we always like to say more police would be the solution, but I know it's, it's, uh, you can't have one on every corner 24 hours a day. So I think, I think it's the neighbors banding together, getting you know, rid of part, it. Part of what we're trying to do with policing, what I've talked about adding police, is not to cover the city in a sea of blue, but uh, to work with community policing, mm -hmm. get, get cops in the neighborhood and then have the community come together, have the police know the neighbors, have the neighbors know the police. I've got to rely on you and your neighbors to help mm -hmm. me. I can't do it all by myself. Just as he recognizes his own limitations, Coleman says the city must recognize its limitations. Not send out false hope that we're going to uh, pay all the dollars to lift up properties that, that, that cannot survive in, in the market and that the city is going to be the solution for that. If we carry that ball, we will not be able to do the other things that we have to do, such as public safety. Uh, and and if, you, if you don't have that component fixed, these neighbors are going to die. Coleman's platform in a nutshell is to keep property taxes down, deliver basic services, beef up public safety, and the neighborhoods will be fine. I'm Mary Lozier.